There's something about the way that you understand We don't need a rush and we don't need to make no plan Good morning, my amazing, beautiful, wonderful, fantastic friends. Welcome back to my channel. I am back to filming, I'm back to uploading. I took a long break. I explained it very, very, very briefly in my last video towards the end but basically the month of november was pretty hectic for me i sorry i'm like very i'm very awake just recently i went to go visit my friend i'll get into it i'm already like jumping around sorry about that uh, how are you guys how are you guys doing i feel like it's been a while since we've chatted comment below and tell me how you guys are doing I haven't had caffeine in like a week. I feel alive. I'm sorry if my voice sounds a little weird because I have been sick for the past few days. I feel better today, probably because of the caffeine. Like I haven't been sick because I took three COVID tests. I'm fine. I took my temperature like five times over the past few days. Never had a temperature. So I haven't been like sick, just my throat has been not good. Anyway, the month of November was very busy for me. It is December, happy December, happy. I was gonna say Vlogmas, but I'm not doing Vlogmas because I don't know how people daily vlog. But kudos to those who do, kudos to those who do. What was I saying? Oh, November. So at the beginning of the month, I talked about how in my last video, which my last video was filmed a few weeks ago, I just never got around to finishing the editing process because at the beginning of the month, Mary came to visit, which was such an amazing time. I haven't seen Mary since her birthday, which was in August. She was here for like a week and a half. She was here for like 10, 11 days. And I was explaining my last video that I tried to film, but I just wanted to be like with her and be present. And then after that, I did film that one video Video. Never got around to editing it because later that week my friend Minnie came to visit me I've been friends with Minnie for like four years or so and we finally got to meet it was so so much fun It was crazy like Minnie and I were even saying while we met I can tell this is our first time meeting But I also am tempted to say something like oh, it's been so long as if we've already hung out and met It was, it was just really nice. It was really nice. We clicked really well in person There's always that little bit of nerves where you meet like an online friend and you're like is it gonna translate well in real life? And it did. I don't think I've ever actually met an online friend in real life where it hasn't been that way, which is awesome. So I did that. And then I had some other things to take care of for the week after I went to see her. And then I went to Vermont and your girl saw snow for the first time since I lived in New York. If you guys are like really new, I feel like a lot of my viewers are like, OGs, which by the way, love y'all. I feel like a lot of you guys I've seen in my comment section for years and it's so cool to see. I feel like we're growing together, you know? You guys saw me at my worst <laughs> and now we're bonded. Now you're stuck with me. But if you guys are new, I grew up in New York. I was born in Korea, grew up in New York, moved to Florida for school, and now I'm living in California, which I love California. It's always been like my dream to live here. I always said if I'm gonna stay in the US, I'm gonna live in California. And now look at me, living my dream. Thanks to y'all. But I grew up in New York and obviously, you guys don't know, New York gets very, very, very cold. And I moved out of New York when I was 18 and I started living on my own when I was 18 years old. I say living on my own because I was mostly living on my own, even though my dad visited me every month to just see how I was doing. I haven't seen snow since I left New York. So it's been... So I'm 25 now, so like seven years since I've seen snow, almost eight years. And I got to see snow when I went to visit my dear friend Phoebe and I went to, did I say Vermont? Why did I say Vermont? Where did that come from? I went to Nevada. Where the hell did I get Vermont? Ignore me. I went to Nevada. I went to Reno, Nevada and I saw snow and it was beautiful. I had an amazing time and something I realized like I don't 
miss snow too much. I don't really like snow. I, uh, I like snow for like the first few days and then it gets really gross and dangerous. I hated snow so much because I had to drive in snow and it is not fun to drive it. But when I was at Phoebe's, she has a fireplace. She has a bunch of animals. They are so, so, so sweet. She would always make us some like really hot drinks, like some hot tea or some hot apple cider. And we would sit by the fireplace with all of our animals while it was snowing and that that is a vibe. That is a vibe. If I could do that every single time it snowed, maybe I wouldn't mind the snow too much. Going on vacation to see the snow was pretty nice, but that's about it. And I just got back home about a week ago. I feel like I've been really happy. I am really starting to feel like myself again, and I feel like I haven't felt like myself in a really long time. So I'm trying to balance that sort of work life. I'm trying to have a work life balance because I've never really had to do a work life balance too much um, because I never really had a life. I never really had a life. Well, I mean, in high school, I feel like I had a life. It happened, we're moved past that. And then I went to college and my entire life was around school and it was around my dad, making sure we were taking care of each other because my dad was really sick and making him proud. And then uh, once my dad passed away, that was also when COVID happened and I didn't do anything. <laughs> For like two years i also feel like college during into like the beginning of covid times was when i was working really hard on my youtube i was grinding a lot so it was all work no life and then i moved into my last apartment and i was so incredibly unhappy during that like the whole past year or so and that's also when i feel like my youtube schedule started to get really wonky because i was just never happy with anything i posted i wasn't happy in my life i wasn't happy with myself i wasn't happy with anything the only things keeping me afloat was whenever i uploaded you guys would talk to me shout out to y'all twitch i started streaming on twitch which was also really nice but i i don't know i just didn't have any any balance. I still don't. I'm working on it. The only things keeping me afloat was like you guys and my cats. Now I'm keeping myself afloat. Like you guys are still helping. My cats still help, obviously, but I'm also keeping myself afloat. You know, I'm saying I haven't felt this way in a really long time, but I also don't know if I've ever felt this way. Ever. <laughs> like I'm really happy. I'm really proud of myself and I'm really doing the work to heal and confront a lot of the things I've dealt with in the past that I never had to confront before. I'm sorry if you can hear Anya in the background. She's going insane. I'm happy. Haven't been happy in a really long time. I don't want to lose that. And I want to be the best version of myself for myself, for you guys, for the other people in my life that I love so dearly. And yeah. That was a long intro. I hope you guys are doing well. <laughs> I'm actually finishing uploading a video right now and I'm gonna go get ready for the gym. I haven't been to the gym in the past few days because again, haven't really felt too hot. I also had to take a week off from the gym because I was traveling and I really miss the gym. I miss working out. Working out makes me so freaking happy. <sighs> Drink your water, it's dehydrated. So for breakfast, I'm gonna have some oatmeal. I'm using these, I got these at Trader Joe's and they're in the apples and cinnamon flavor. Yo. Oh yeah. I got these crisp, sweet, miniature apples. They're so cute. Maybe I'll have two, cause they are very tiny. Dice them and add them to the oatmeal. Who said, who said, I can't be sipping it. Then I'm gonna microwave for two minutes, make sure it's not exploded, and then microwave for another, maybe another minute or two. Oatmeal is out of the microwave, looking beautiful. Oh my God, it smells so good. <laughs> Sometimes I like to add a little bit of salt because it'll be a little too sweet, kind of. Not too sweet per se, but just use a little bit of like salt 
to counteract it. I don't know. It's kind of like when you get salted chocolate chip cookies, you know what I mean? Just needs a little bit. I'm also going to add some Trader Joe's raw almond butter. This is like my favorite nut butter of all time. The texture is just, oh my God, it's so good. You just pour it on. Yes. Oh my God, the texture is everything. Scrum dilly um -shes. Okay, your girl just finished streaming a little bit ago. I think I might have stressed my voice out, my throat out a little too much while I was streaming, but it's okay. It's totally worth it. I love streaming, which by the way, if you aren't following me on Twitch, you definitely should. We do a lot of just chatting where I just talk to you guys really. So follow me over there if you want to just kind of talk and like talk to me real time, which is, it's really nice. But my my throat is very, very sore. Um, I think I'm just gonna chill for the rest of the night until I decide to make some dinner. I have no idea what I'm gonna make yet. I made some rabuki, black bean rabuki. My throat, I definitely pushed myself a little too hard today. <laughs> so Boston, you dropped your ticket and you bent down and picked it up. This is your psychosis. I think she actually made some headway with these people. I feel like all you have to do is be like, because you, know, you don't have to open this every time I hit the pause button. All right? Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I sound terrible today. I'm so sorry. I feel like I've sounded pretty awful for the past like three to four days. But yesterday, oh my God. Yesterday, I was not feeling well. I was not feeling good at all. I don't know if it was because I streamed the day before and I pushed myself a little bit too much. I don't know. I don't know what happened yesterday. I felt my throat felt raw. It was like every time I swallowed, it hurt so bad. And for some reason, like I haven't been coughing all that much, but yesterday, whew, it's all I did all day. And it started to feel like, like I thought I was gonna, I was gonna start coughing up blood because it hurts so bad. But I feel good today. My throat just hurts. Well, no, it doesn't. My throat doesn't even hurt today. But like, you can hear it in my voice, right? Like I kind of sound like a hack. I'm so sorry. I didn't really film yesterday because all I really did was sit around the apartment and drink tea and soup. I think it was good because now I feel better today. I don't sound all that better, but I feel better today. I do a lot of laundry today. I'm not gonna go to the gym today because I don't wanna like push myself. Something that I do while I'm not feeling well is if I start to feel a little bit better one day, I will just immediately try to get back to my normal routine, which is not the routine of a sick person, obviously. It's the routine of a healthy person. And when I end up doing that, I end up pushing myself too much. And then I end up being sick for longer because I'm not letting myself just like heal completely. So we're gonna take it easy today. Peepees. I love all my babies. I love all my babies. But this baby, this baby, I birthed you. You give me blinks. Love blinks. Thank you. I love you too. Bomi is my firstborn. Like this is my biological daughter. I I am dead ass. Like I'm not even joking. That is my daughter. That is my biological daughter. My baby girl. I want to unpackage something that I'm so excited about. Oh my God, not sponsored. I wish I was. I ordered some merch from Omori and I got two desk mats and a crew neck. Is this a crew neck or a hoodie? I wanna wear this today. I'm gonna wear this today. Oh my God, how freaking cute. I'm obsessed. I got an extra large because I like when my crew necks are baggy. So this is the crew neck that I got. And it's just, I think this is their move when they like all come together. Yeah, release energy, which is like their power of friendship move. So cute. I love it, I love it, I love it. Oh my God, I'm so excited to show you guys the desk mats. I'm obsessed with these. Okay, boom me baby. So here's the first desk mat. Look at how cute. This is Mari's picnic blanket, which the, by the way, if you guys don't know, Omori is my favorite video game of all time. It's what this tattoo is representing. I love that video game so much. It's a very precious video game to me. Very depressing. So just like warning if you guys want to play it. In the game, this is kind of where, like the spot in the game where you can regenerate your health and has Mari and Basil on it. How cute. Oh my god, I, I love it. So that's the first desk mat I got. And here's the other one. I wanted to get this one because of the colors, number one. And also, it has all of them. Look at how cute. So I have basically the whole crew. We have Mari and Basil here. And then all the others 
Over here, this is more like your main, your main crew. We have Omori, who's our main character, Aubrey, Kel, and Hiro. Here's my stash, and I'm gonna open the door, and Anya's gonna run in like she always does. Miss girl, I gotta, I gotta get in there. Anya gets one of these, as well as one of these. I usually give her one of these in the morning. Give her half of this. She, she eats like one of these a day. So I'll split this up into like two or three meals. And she gets around three of these a day. <coughs> Anya, you need to calm down. This is what Fomi and Kyo get. I've been serving all of them in the same area and they've been doing good, they've been doing good. You guys watched my other video, Anya had to eat in like a separate room because they couldn't handle, so they would just eat each other's food. Yum, delicious. This is Anya's portion. No, you guys don't get this. No. Good job. There you go. There you go. You guys waited. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Breakfast for the babies. I always feel bad because she's kind of like off to the side. Maybe I'll put the water on the other side and then all their food will be up. But then it's kind of cramped, you know? I don't know. I love how I like check the weather and I literally said it was raining. And the first thing I do when I go outside, I was like, oh, it's raining. Like I was shocked. I was so surprised. I'm gonna go to Target. It's not raining too bad. I feel like we never really get rain here. So this is a good thing. I don't know what it is about these books, but do they not give Twilight vibes? Like look at the, look at the titles, Charm, Midnight Sun, Crave, Crush. Like what? That's Twilight 2.0. Oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I need them. I, I need them. I need them. I need it! I'm like looking for things to buy. This is self sabotage. Oh my god. I need it. It's time for breakfast. I just got home, so I'm gonna make myself something really fast because it's already like 1 p.m. I got a bunch of packages in the mail, so I just opened them all up, crushed all the boxes, and then put them outside. It is now like pretty heavily raining, so definitely a nice day to just like chill and be inside. What I'm gonna have for breakfast is I'm gonna eat one of these like Amy's tofu scrambles. They're actually really good. I like them a lot. Very delicious. So I'm gonna have one of these, and I'm gonna eat a bagel and everything bagel with cream cheese on the side. I'm gonna have another one of these. Spiced apple cider mixes. These are so freaking good. I had like five yesterday, I'm not even joking. And especially like with this weather, it just, it's a good vibe, it's a good vibe. Here's my breakfast and my apple cider. <laughs> All right, so I have my super lazy dinner today, which is some gin ramen, any type of instant ramen with some tofu. And if I'm feeling extra hungry, I will make some rice afterwards too to like mix it in with the broth. So good. This is my lazy dinner. I plan on being pretty productive this weekend, but change of plans, your girl just like did not feel too well. And that's okay. I'm not gonna push myself, not gonna be too hard on myself because I think I push myself like the second I start to feel better is I push myself a lot. And then I end up like prolonging the recovery time. So I just took it easy today. I wanted to be productive, but I decided it was best to just chill. I still got some things done. I still got quite a few things done and I feel really good tonight. Like I feel pretty good today. So hopefully by tomorrow when I wake up tomorrow morning, I will have a full recovery. As I sit here ready to film my next video, I realized I didn't close out this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up so let me know. But if you hated it, you can like give it a thumbs down. That's okay too. Do thumbs downs even matter anymore? Like no one even sees them anyway. And also, before you go, if you haven't already heard today, you are amazing, you're beautiful, you're wonderful, you are so valid, and I am so, so happy that you are alive. I love you so, so much, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.